Chaser Report is recorded on Gadigal land. Striving for mediocrity in a world of excellence, this is The Chaser Report. Hello and welcome to The Chaser Report. I'm Charles Foote and with me today is... Andrew Hansen! Yes, indeed. I think I'm replacing that other host of yours who's occasionally here. Uh, I've forgotten his name, but anyway, you've got who? me. You've got Andrew Hansen. Aren't you I lucky? remember. Aren't you lucky? Who? Who there, there was another guy who you used to do the show uh, with before, before today. Yes. Like before I... The grumpy guy. Yeah, what's his name? Bom, oh, bom yes, or something. Yes. Rom, Rom, Ron. Uh, Ron. Ron. Yeah. Ron. 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 Somebody. Was it was Ron yeah. his surname? Was he uh, Jovial yeah. Ron? Yeah, I think yeah. His name this, it was an ironic name. Sort of sleepy. Yes, that, yeah, that's right. Sleepy anyway, look, you know. I think I don't know what happened to. I think he died or something. I can't remember. Well, it doesn't surprise yeah. me. You yeah. know, having having <laughs> sort of heard some of the episodes, I did feel that that was probably going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was. I think that was the. I think that's why so many people keep listening to it, and our ratings for some bizarre reason keep increasing, is mm. just the jeopardy. They're like the, uh, yeah, the, yeah, it's like yeah. a real crime drama. Like, will he die this week? You yes. Know? When will he die? It's a, it's a yeah. sort of Game of Thrones level of yeah. you know. Oh my goodness, when's he going to go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, it's well, happened. It's happened, and and we've got Andrew, a much better person on the podcast instead. Oh yes, mate. Well, yeah. certainly less grumpy anyway. Mm. But. but I'll tell you what, I, I I am hugely relieved this morning. It's not just because Dom is no longer here <laughs> with us. <laughs> I'm also hugely relieved because yeah. Donald Trump yesterday announced that he is running in 2024. Kel surprise! Thank God we can all relax again. Yes. We can all go back to that state of relaxation that I remember from the last time he was when he was president. And I'm sure this is very relatable to anyone who owns a satirical news outlet. There has been great panic ever since, first of all, Trump uh, got unelected. Then Boris Johnson got punted out of um, sort of thing, and then Scott Morrison left, and there's sort of nothing left left to mo- like no easy low hanging gags the whole time. Oh, I see what you mean, Charles. That, that's an issue, yeah, for you, sort of trying to trot out sort of earnest left wing barbs on your socials, isn't it? Yes, exactly. Yeah, what like, do you do now? Go go for the rah rah set, just the obvious sort of like literally gags that write themselves. They're the ones yeah. that right. They're the ones that you know. Get in the donations, mm. people. You just say something really obvious about how dumb Trump is. Boom! <laughs> you get 50 bucks. 50 bucks! <laughs> Straight away. But surely you could do this. You, you could do this about Biden and, and Albanese as well, can't you? Yeah. Have you haven't you started? Have, you, have oh. you come up with any jokes yet about them? The best joke... We're still the, thinking. The, the best joke we've done about Alba, which is actually not my joke, it's James Schleffel wrote this joke, which is a great joke, mm. is that, oh, thank God, we've finally got a government that cares about the environment under Labor. In fact, they care so much that they have agreed to plant one tree for every coal mine they approve, which means, you know, like, there's going to be a lot of that's trees. Good. That's like 17 trees in Queensland alone. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. That's, that's that's good. good. There you go. It can yeah. be done. It can be done. It can be done, but it's sort of dry and effortful. You know, you don't mm. you don't want that. You want, you want to be able to write a gag at nine AM because Trump's done something stupid and then head to the pub with the fifty bucks that you got. That's, oh, that's what you mean. Yeah. Yes. So well, anyway, well, but the point well, is Good luck okay, to you. Good luck to you, Charles. So you can do it. He did it at Mar a Lago. So he announced this whole thing at Mar a Lago. Guess who was in the audience? I think you probably mm. know. Who was in oh, the look, audience? Oh look we spotted Gina, right? Gina yes. Gina Reinhardt is is there in the back of Shot. She's got a boneheading in a way. It's quite a funny shot because she's, she's in the background, isn't it? It's almost like she wasn't really meant to be in the shot. But it looked intentional. It looked like it was wall. photoshopped. Like her face looked like she was photoshopped in there. Yeah, it did but, a bit, but it, but it's real. I've seen it's no, been it's reported real. in the yeah. news as as genuine, hasn't yeah. it? Why would you go along? So this is a genuine question. I've been to a few Trump rallies, and there is a correct answer to this. Why would you go along to a Trump? Announcement. I, I, What's the I, reason? I'm, I'm intru- I look, I imagine that there'd be a lot of very nice hamburgers on offer to, to, <laughs> to eat. I mean, this is this is why I would go. I, yes. I assume there'd be a yes. big spread of burgers and fries. The catering is good. Yes, that is true. And and actually, they they usually have food trucks out the front. And yeah. and actually, the ones that I went to, which were in sort of South Carolina and the deep south of America. Mm. Um, it was always it, it, it was always black people who would turn up to do all the catering and the merchandising and stuff like that. And you'd go, why yeah. are you supporting this racist 
fuck with it. And he'd be like, like, oh, we're not supporting him. It's just these people are really rich who support him. We're making lots of money out of them. <laughs> it's we're charging twenty five dollars for a red cap. You know. <laughs> Well, of course, it makes total sense. Mm. I mean, you know, they, 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 why should they discriminate with their customers? Yes, exactly. Um, yes, know, they're not going to say no. Can you cater this enormous? You know, this. Well, they're, they're, yeah. they're not enormous, though. Are they? I mean, I thought the whole thing about Trump rallies was they were very poorly attended. Well, they, I think like, they aren't are they a normally bit. a bit of a washout. No, 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 no. It, like during 2016, there was a real sense. And I'll tell you why you go. There's actually one reason why you do actually go to rallies. My, I went to so many. Like I went to like half a dozen. In 2016, mm. is because he's uh. fucking funny. He's really entertaining, right? Mm. Yeah, he is. He's he's very funny, isn't yeah. he? When he gets up on stage, and yeah. I think that's why Jenna Reinhart went there because you know you look at Australia's stand-up comedy circuit, you go, there's a little, <laughs> you know, it's a little thin on the ground. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, you, I yeah. mean, there's, I mean, Tom Gleason's great comedian, but there's only so many times you can go to his show, and he has like one or two shows a year. Different shows. Mm, mm. There's, you're not even touring at the moment, Andrew. So you can't. She can't get well, to I, you. I, no, I'm not. You, that, that, that's true. You can't even see me. So you have yeah. to go to Trump. Yeah. Well, and and like War on 2022, which is my show, which is coming up, um, starts next week. Uh, oh, nicely pl- Oh, nicely worked. Yeah. In. You can uh, go to chaser.com.au slash live and uh, get you? tickets there. But, but can you really, can you? Yes. So, so is your whole Trump story finished now? <laughs> no, now no, got, no. You, now that you've got your plug out. No, no, no. But the point is, so I think that's the reason why Gina went over there was to be entertained, right? But mm, mm. turns out this announcement that he made was incredibly boring, right? Like it was. Uh, he was. Oh, see, I haven't heard the announcement. He, it was a dull. He tried to be a, like a statesman. The crucial oh, error gosh. of being this sort of. Statesmanly sort of oh I'm announcing I'm just you know like I'm all really important so much so that some of his supporters in the audience started heckling him like listen to this hopefully someday go back to their homes this is boring boring, We're boring. boring. tell we, some jokes this is something entertain this is, us this is boring come on so very important or bored this is are you serious? This is boring. This is boring. We came here to be entertained. This is boring. I'm so bored. I love you, but this is really boring. Donald, you're boring. 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 There you go. It goes on. Um, <laughs> Even the, what's interesting about that is that even the heckling is boring. <laughs> I mean, it goes on and on yeah. and they've got nothing new. Poor Olivia Gina had to put up with boring heckles. Was it her? Was she one of those people <laughs> saying, this is boring? Yeah. Uh, the Chaser Report. Now with extra whispers. This has sent me into a bit of a spiral, right? Which is, yeah. if Trump is going to be all statesman-like and, and boring on his campaign trail, hmm. then that's not going to work for us as satirists. Because we're just going to... Yeah. We need to come up with new ideas to help Donald Trump sort of get back that sort of... Yeah, you know, like yeah. you know how comedians sort of over time get less funny. You know how mm. old comedians. There's a point at which you sort of age out of comedy. Yes, uh, and your about, references are a bit dated and that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, and <clears> you yeah. see it all the time. I, I wonder whether that's what's happened to Trump. Is he's just sort of <sighs> he's still living back in 2020, he's still going on about yeah. losing the election. What we need is we need some new gear for. Donald Trump to do so that he can some, sort of some, feed some us new the material. next material. I mean, yeah. Well, also, I mean, there's also the fear that I think that he, he might actually win the election because you know if he starts behaving like a like oh. a reliable normal politician, yes, you know, he might actually get in. But it, it, so so we had better think of something for him to do. Yes, I think um, that's right. Could he book into that irritating course that uh, that some comedians think they have to do? That's in France. You know, the, the, oh yes, the Goliath, the clown Goliath school, clown school. Yes, and um, you know, put him into the clown school. Give him a bit of clown training. Perhaps? Yes, because I mean, actually, I know you, you sort of mock it as a uh, thing, but Tom Walker, you know, Tom Walker, he's very funny. He went to a clown school years. for no, about a lot of people, three years. A lot of good people, a lot of good people, I yeah. think, went there. But Yes, know. but a lot of irritating people also went there. Well, it sounds like an irritating experience to, yes. to me. But you go there and get abused, I'm told. You, yes. Everybody who comes back says, oh, all that happened was that uh, the guy just said, you are not interesting. You are not funny. Mm. Get out of uh, Get out of my sight. Come yes. back when you are interesting. Yes. Uh, apparently, it's it's a bunch of that. And I, and I think the thing is that there's no limit on how long the course is. 
So you just oh, go, yeah, no, I think you can stay as long as you Yeah, it just goes on and on and on and on you until just you just get paying. fed up. Yeah. Well, maybe that's the answer for Trump. Just send him to the course. Yes. And, and perhaps he'll never be entertaining enough. You know, he'll sort of be gone for yes. years. It'll destroy him. Decades. It'll be actually, it'll be what he's always sort of missing, what he's always psychologically trying to make up for, which is, you know, ever since his father died, he hasn't had an abusive figure in his life to sort of hate on him. Uh, I see. And he'll he'll feel like he's right at home again. He'll probably oh, actually yes. turn into a well-rounded human being. He'll get that. Oh, well that's a well if that's what he's looking for. I mean, you could book him into <clears throat> work, you know, in the hospitality industry or um, <laughs> you, you know, that's a He way. should he should become a waiter at Mar-a-Lago. I've heard the yeah. <laughs> I've heard the owner of Mar-a-Lago is a real cunt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let him serve the hamburgers to Gina yeah. Reinhardt. Yeah, that, that, that'll yeah. give him what he needs. Yeah, great idea. And so, like, let's just now also have a look at why he's running, right? Because mm. it, it's not usual for someone to announce just after the midterms, like two years away from when the actual election is going to happen, that you're running. But that doesn't happen, right? And it doesn't happen for a reason because actually, there's a whole lot of laws that make it much harder for him to raise money now. Like it. There's all these laws that he now comes under now that he's announced that he's a candidate, right? Right. But the reason everyone's saying that he actually announced so early out is because uh, he's under investigation for a whole lot of incredible crimes, including things like a bit of light treason, you know, when he stole all those secret <laughs> documents and, mm, yes. and, then, and then moved them when the FBI was knocking on the door, he sort of mm, mm. Uh, moved them to another location and stuff like that. And there's still documents that appear to be missing. Basically, under the law over there, or under the guidelines of the law over there, there was no possibility for the Justice Department to basically arrest him during the midterms because he was a sort of political figure. But now that they those elections are out of the way, they actually can now go and arrest him if they want to, you know, if they've got enough evidence or whatever. But now that he's announced, it's sort of like he can now claim that, oh, well, the reason you're arresting me is because I'm running for president, not because I stole a whole lot of documents and committed a bit of light treason. So <coughs> right, yes. I kind of think this whole part needs a little bit of a joke to it because I, I, I don't have a punchline. <laughs> yeah, it probably does. Of, yeah, this is a bit well, boring, a bit like his announcement. Where can we go, where can we yeah. go with that? <laughs> <laughs> but... No, no, but I think it's – so what uh, What the fuck is – Well, well, maybe you, you – just anybody who's, a, you know, done something that is it seems a bit sus yes. should, should run for president. Well, well, this is the thing. I mean, look, I've committed a bit of light fraud over the years. Like, Well, maybe you should, you should announce. I think running. I should announce that I'm running for prime minister. <clears throat> I mean, that's what protects you. Yes. You know. And um, then every time, you know, people say, oh, but you evaded all those taxes, Charles, I'll just say, that's a political yeah, statement. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I mean, this could work for anybody, you know. I mean, like even even somebody who's just done a break and enter and, and stolen a television or something. Yes. You know, they should run for president. Even for really small crimes. Like, you know how Dom doesn't clean up his dog shit whenever he walks his dog? <laughs> Yes, he never does, but yes. he should run for president. He, if he runs for president, <laughs> he can just claim, well, that accusation, that that fine that you gave me for not cleaning up after my dog, just... that's political. <laughs> the politics of him and his what, dog shit. What um, Dirty politics. What crimes do you commit regularly? Well, you know, sometimes you know, I'm too busy to go to the toilet on time. Um, <laughs> But, you know, especially lately, because I've got little children, I find I'm, I'm always holding it on. Is that a crime to, to, to hold to hold it in? That's not a crime. I feel like you don't really understand what crimes. Are. No, look, I've got a very boring life, Charles. Yeah. I don't. I don't. You know, I'm not. A well, that's a bit of a crime. I'm you, a pretty, yes, you got yes, a crime yes. against partying. I, I do. Party. I'm a crime against. Yes, I never, I never leave the house and, and be mm. interesting or, or, or social yeah. or anything. So, so, I've got that. Oh, you got a crime um, on stage. Like I've seen your live mm. shows on stage. Your crime is just being too funny. Well, that's true, Charles. <laughs> that's a, it's, I'm, it's yes, yeah. yes. I'm criminally hilarious <laughs> on stage. Oh, Charles should be locked up. Lock up that loony Hanson. He's too funny. I have heard that said. Have we recorded enough? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's stop. Okay. So the point is, <laughs> Trump is running. But he doesn't seem to be up to his own old sort of level of interestingness. 
and that's a real problem for us as satirists. And therefore, I don't know what's gonna. What do you reckon is gonna happen? Like, do you think he's gonna win, or is he just running mm. for protection? No, I think I think now that he's dull, I I think I mean you know look yeah. at Joe Biden. Really. Yes, I mean, Joe Biden's really the the most boring yes. man in America, and I think that's he's, why they ran him. Right, he's going to outflank he, Joe Biden in boringness. He's, he's a <laughs> well, I think so. Yeah, I think Trump's yes. looked at that, and Trump's thought, well, well wait a minute, yes. you know, this was a strategy. You know, I was I was interesting and funny and unpredictable. Yes. So so they ran me. You know, they they put the dullest man in America up against me. Yes, and, and he and he beat me. And yes. So so now I think yeah Trump's going to go one better. Yes. I I predict he's going to be mm. even more boring than than Joe Biden. You know, get I, in. on that framework, you know who we should run for president of the United States who will outflank both Biden and Trump in boring. Who do you think? Dom Knight. <laughs> the former host <laughs> of the Chaser of the Report. Chaser Report. <laughs> God, I hope he doesn't listen to this episode. Tommy for president. <laughs> You're very cruel, Charles. Very, very cruel at the expense of your of your uh, regular co-host. We love Dom. I, I think I think we've learned something about uh, mm. your relationship by, by the fact that he's not here. He won't listen. He won't listen. He'd only listen to the episodes. He's uh, no. He he does sort of listen to episodes. I don't know why he listens to all the episodes. Like he, like when he's not there, he'll say, "Oh, you know, that was interesting what you said." Well, he's, he's probably keeping an ear out for when you when you're rude about him. <laughs> He's probably... He's really compiling a massive defamation case. Yes, yes, because you sit there insulting him all episode. Oh, no, wait a minute. That's another Joseph team member. <laughs> I mean, uh, I agree. Okay. I mean, I, you know, I'm, not, I'm not disagreeing. Yeah. <laughs> Our gear is from Road. We're part of the ACAST Creator Network. Catch you tomorrow.